In this video, I'm going to talk about airport construction projects that how professionally as a planning engineer, if you are going to start your job career, it is very important to understand the basic level documentations like BOQ, bill of quantities from where you are going to collect all the work management, task management and scope management, and you are going to load within your project management information system. There are many questions out there for project planning control engineers who are going to start their career. I'm going to satisfy all of them. And meanwhile, I'm also going to equip this video with AI support like chat GPT. How can you use chat GPT to reinforce your this scope management task? So let's start and I'm going to share with you over here right now, we are on Primera P6 dashboard. It is ready made airport construction projects, but uh, let me share with you over here. Uh, one thing I forgot to ask you people, just uh, subscribe this channel and uh, click on this bell icon so that in future, if I make any video, you get that link on time. So let get back to the topic. So this is actually Primera P6 airport construction project. And uh, I will be sharing the basic, uh, you know, uh, documentation as well. And you can write in the chat, uh, you know, comment section area where you have to write airport construction project primera p6 uh, you will get all these files xer file as well as boq which i will be showing you right now here we have this boq how to convert this boq which is having the details the different components of airport fence watchtower main runway taxi link apron parking loop road boundary wall and so on i will take as a case study one of the deliverables and l let you know that how to uh, convert this uh, raw data which is given in BOQ bill of quantity into uh, Primera P6 sequential planning activities right so uh, I'm I'm assuming this you already know the concept of WBS you already know the concept of scope management if you have not that idea click link above on my head uh, it is going to uh, explain you all those concepts right so here I am helping how to convert a BOQ any random boq with the help of ai tool chat gpt into first of all we are going to talk about the expert judgment within from our company resources how to develop the approaches right then we are going to talk about chat gpt so you can see here is a boq and it is going to tell me this is 1.94 million uh, uh, dollar project right and here the detail of fence right so actually the description of work is here like if i'm going to build a fence the description is given here if i'm going to build taxi link the description of work is given like that one so now as a planning engineer if i'm going to start my job it is it looks very it seems very difficult oh how i can uh, convert this into wbs then i can uh, convert it into the activities right so i'm going to make it very easy so at this moment we are going to consider case study like a watchtower right so I'm going to share with you people here watchtower activities and uh, we can improvise these watchtower activities. First of all, let me share with you the BOQ and uh, in watchtower, you know, it looks like this one. If in case you have no idea, you are just new in the, uh, the in this field, but you must know that what kind of product I'm talking about. This is look like watchtower for any signals and all that. Right. So here it's uh, in the particular our work description. It is written there. What? exact the work need to be executed the next column is mentioning about the exact quantity taken off from the design or drawings the next one is unit of measure like in which specific units that certain amount of work need to be measured or cost and then the rate which will be calculated by quantity surveyors at initial stages of your project contract award right uh, like one cubic meter for this specific specific work it's gonna cost 290 dollar or rupees or whatever then this is the total quantity which is taken off from the design is going to multiply with this rate and going to give you this much and total watchtower is this much money right it is going to get this much money should be incurred to build this so there are labor non-labor any everything is there right so the description, the most concerning thing, the construction of watchtower, excavation in foundation of building, bridges and other structures, including uh, deck belling, dressing, you know, it is, uh, you know, uh, giving the description that excavation everywhere during the construction of watch 
towers. So the total quantity is 8 cubic meter. Providing and laying stone soling with stones of minimum 6 inches to 9 inches and the specification is given there. Cement concrete. So random description of work is given. Reinforced RCC is there. Okay. So there is a 28 days mixed batching plant and this work is also explaining reinforced cement concrete RCC. Here is also this one, but specifications are different. Reinforced cement concrete in roof slab beams. So quantity survey. Here there is a big concern raised by planning engineers. Because when estimation people or estimators or quantity surveyors are going to compile BOQs, they are going to sum up all the quantities and going to put in one box. This is easy for them. But when you are working as a planning engineer, you can see right now, this is written there, reinforcement cement concrete in roof, slab, beams, columns. So all these activities when I am going to compile my scope. There are different WBS for roof. There is different WBS for slab. There is different WBS for column. Obviously, then there will be different activities for these all WBS. So, obviously, this quantity surveyor, first of all, this planning engineer need to understand. This quantity, which is 14,000 cubic meter, need to be segregated, need to be uh, separated as per the shop drawing of column, beams, stop slab, and all that, right? So that we can produce different if if these uh, this single boq given description is going to be segregated into different activities the simple quantity of 14000 cubic meter need to be segregated as well right so this is the important concept you need to stick with right so then uh, then fabrication uh, here we are of deformed bars grade 60 uh, steel reinforced for cement concrete uh, you know, this is the reinforcement of steel, right? 7,560 kilograms or you can say 7.5 tons. Providing a laying damp proof course, DPC, okay, cement concrete. And uh, if I can precast cement concrete, cement plaster, providing and laying. Okay, now from the approach of this very young planning engineer who is going to read this BOQ, First of all, this guy need to visualize that, okay, how the site work is going on to sit with any expert judgment or subject matter expert people, right? They can go on YouTube. There are many construction videos that how the activities are there, right? Let me share with you how you need to convert these descriptions like this one. See, the excavation, you don't need those much lengthy uh, descriptions and like this one. See, from... Uh, excavation from the very starting point to the paint when your watchtower is ready but there is one more thing you know while uh, you know loading this data within your PMIS either that is uh, Excel Microsoft project or Primavera P6 you need to refine that data there is a sequence like BOQ data I will consider that raw data okay from this raw data to you to you can go with the refined refined one how it will become a refined when you are going to make it uh, convert those long description into shorter formats like it is given their excavation blah 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 but you are just writing your excavation and then you are going to maintain the sequence which work is dependency model is very important right that's the second important thing you need to sit with quantity surveyor your project manager in case you are a young new planner they are going to provide each and everything, but just to kill your confusion, which is going on uh, in your mind and uh, producing like many questions, overthinking, right? So you have to sit with your supporting team and ask them how we are going to develop the dependency, right? This is important thing. So that is how you are going to make your sequence. That is the things you are doing with your team, right? In other case, what you are going to do? You can take these screenshots if you are using, uh, you can say uh, this uh, chat GPT, right? So I'm going to make it like this one. I can make like control C, the first one. I can make over here like this one. Okay, the first one. So here you have to just learn how to create prompts. Act like as airport construction 
project manager and convert this POQ data into scheduling data as WBS and detailed activities as no activity should be missed out and maintain sequence as per real construction scenario okay that is and here we are right activities and uh, pardon me if i have made any mistake in okay so here we are so how chat gpt is going to help you it is going to give you a complete wbs just to improvise the way we have gone through right so it is going to give me for tower construction first of all we should make our levels substructure works first level is the you know the watchtower construction and before that level zero is airport construction under that level one uh, uh, under level one watchtower apron taxi link rigid pavement and all that many uh, all the B, uh, you know wbs levels from here right so we are getting into the detail of watchtower so level two is substructure okay superstructure okay and uh, th these are the level masonry work then finishing works these are level two then roofing and damping dpc then services and ancillary works right so further level of wbs will be like uh, excavation and framework uh, earth earthwork right further down there are activities okay these are the activities so that is how ai is gonna help you as a planning and scheduling guy scope management is the most primary thing for every planner because if scope is not done you are not going to do anything neither you can make time management cost management or any other thing right so try to understand the ways the you know the you know different kind of hacks i i guided you through your team how to convert that random data into refined data but if you are going to use chat gpt with right uh, prompt with the right description with right demand and all those requirements should be mentioned in that prompt then chat gpt is going to help you more than what you expect so learn today this chat gpt as well as project planning and control so people who want this boq as a matter of uh, exercise or practice and primera p6 file as well they first write their primera p6 file for airport construction project my team is going to approach them and share with them this file and other documents see you in my next video but don't forget to subscribe this channel see you in my next video